a very good morning to all of you guys so do you know that there is a report called covid 19 innovation report that assesses the countries and as well as cities on the basis of innovative solutions that they have developed to combat covid 19 so right now the second edition of that report has been released and we are going to discuss that report in detail along with this swavalamban challenge fund has also been launched by sidbi so we will also be discussing that along with this national commission for women the new chairperson of that commission has been appointed so we will be discussing that as well along with other questions so there is a lot of interesting news as well as questions for you in this video so let's begin today's video but before that if you haven't subscribed our channel till now then guys do subscribe and hit this bell notification and also you can join this telegram group where you will get the pdf of this session free okay so this is our first question which is from the report itself so which indian city has performed best in the covid 19 innovation report 2021 so first of all this is the second edition of this report and this report is prepared by startup blink uh, organization which also releases report uh, another report called global startup ecosystem so that is another very flagship report that is released by startup blink and this is another report that is released by this organization so do remember it is released by startup blink so now let's know which city has performed the best in this ranking or in this report. So out of these many cities, Bangalore is the right answer and it is at the 49th position in this um, COVID-19 innovation report. Now let's discuss this report in detail. The very first fact is that it is the second edition. The first edition was released in 2020 only. And in 2020, India's rank was 26th. But right now, it has slipped to 32nd. That we will be discussing later. But let's first have a look at the other facts related to this report. So this report was prepared in collaboration with UNAIDS and Health Innovation Exchange. So these are the other two organizations that were helping startup blink so do remember that all the work related to this report was done by startup blink only the mentoring or guiding support was provided by these two organizations the next thing is that it assesses the innovative solutions prepared by countries to set tackle covid 19. now comes the facts total 40 countries and 100 cities were assessed in terms of countries us israel canada are the top three countries First is US. Top three cities are San Francisco Bay, New York and Moscow. So the first two cities belong to US itself. Then we have from Russia. China's rank dropped to 15 from 13th earlier. Asia Pacific may you have Singapore, South Korea and Taiwan um, as the top performers, as the top innovative countries in terms of COVID-19 innovative solutions. So guys, do pay attention. Taiwan has been mentioned as a country here independently. Parameters, prevention, diagnostics, treatment, grants and support initiatives, information related to COVID-19, life and business adaptation. So these were the parameters on which uh, countries and cities were assessed. 40 countries, 100 cities. Now let's look at India related facts. So India scored basically the rank of India was 32nd and the score was 0 0.396. In cities ranking Bangalore is 49th and New Delhi is 55th and total 100 cities were ranked and these two were the, uh, uh, these two Indian cities were in the 100 top cities. In the first edition India's rank was 26th so that I have already told you. Total 15 innovations from India have been uh, mapped or basically noted innovations from India have been taken in this report and those out of those innovations three one breath care mother and these uh, serum institute of India so the innovations done by these organizations were appreciated in this report so do remember about these three organizations particularly the location the category for which this organization has been awarded okay 
the next is india is the 20th in the startup link global startup ecosystem ranking so this is the ranking in this report so that was all about this covid 19 innovations report 2021 and do remember that this is a very important report from your example of you not on, not only for your phase 1 ga but also esi maybe it has a lot of relevance and significance so do prepare it thoroughly and do not forget these three innovations that have been listed out in this report now let's move on to the next question how many countries are members of the colombo security initiative so first ever meeting of this colombo security in conclave so basically first meeting of deputy defense personnel from the member countries were held under this colombo security conclave now you have to tell that how many countries are member of this initiative so file 23 50 15 are in the options out of which 3 is the right answer so india sri lanka and maldives are the member countries so if you remember last year in november 2020 there was a meeting uh, of nsa national security advisers so the, that was a trilateral meeting between these three countries and during this meeting only uh, the nsa level meeting only this conclave was launched so it was launched in 2020 do remember this thing now it was launched in order to increase the cooperation any initiative any forum at the international level is launched basically to uh, increase cooperation among the member countries so remember there are only three members to this conclave and during this first ever deputy defense personnel's meeting that took place very recently bangladesh mauritius and seychelles these three countries also participated as the observers of this meeting so this is also another fact that you need to know as well as memorize so that was all about this colombo security conclave moving on to the next question how much funding will be given to the applicants in the pilot stage under the swavalamban challenge fund so guys before answering this question let us read something about this swavalamban challenge fund otherwise you would not understand what is this pilot stage and what is this fund all about so let's first discuss the fund and then we will come back to this question okay so sidbi has launched this swavalamban challenge fund and the basic purpose of launching this fund is to provide funding to the msmes to the startups to the ngos or organization that are working towards achieving the sustainable development goals that are working towards uh, achieving sustainable development goals as well as uh, societal benefits so a non profit organization educational institutions and social startups will be the eligible sectors that will get funding under this swavalamban challenge fund on six themes these organizations will have to provide solution on six themes of livelihood women empowerment financial literacy responsible business etc eligible entities can sub submit their proposal for award so basically they will become eligible for the uh, grant under this challenge fund only when they innovate on these six areas so there are two categories first is pilot category and second one is scale up category so under the pilot stage categories all the organization or whichever organization is coming will uh, provide new proposal so in the pilot category only new proposals will be supported and funded and in the scale up category the ongoing and completed projects will be supported and leveraged the total outlay of the fund will depend on the number of proposals selected under various themes but category category wise the price or the fixed uh, the amount has been fixed so 20 lakh will be given to each applicant which is 
uh, which is applying under the pilot category. So 20 lakh is the right answer. Then we have rupees 35 lakhs in the scale up category. So I hope that now you have understood all about this Swabalamban challenge fund and the answer of this question as well is clear to you. So the right answer is 20 lakh pilot stage is one stage and then we have scale up stage under the pilot stage new in uh, applications will be new proposals will be accepted and under the scale up stage the existing ongoing projects will be scaled up Pro, uh, funding will be provided to scale up those projects so that is all about this swavalamban challenge fund and remember the total outlay is not decided yet okay Bit State has signed a memorandum of understanding with Flipkart to bring artisans, tra traders, weavers on the online platform on National Handloom Day. So this day is observed on August 7. The right answer is Himachal Pradesh. So in order to onboard its artisans, traders, weavers uh, engaged in the handloom industry on the online platform, this MOU has been signed. Now guys, recently TriFed also observed its 34th foundation day on August 6. So my question from you is that, can you guys tell me in which year was this TriFed established? So this is your question. Who, which state has won the NASCOM's AI Game Changer Award for the year 2020? One. So the right answer here is Telangana. Telangana has won this Game Changer Award. And do remember that 2020 was announced as the year of AI by Telangana only. Now guys, we have talked about one year. Can you tell me that which year is India Indo-Asian Year of Friendship? This is the next question that I am asking you. Okay, which year has been designated as the Indo-Asian year of friendship? Now let's discuss something about this AI Game Changer Award. So Telangana got this award for its crowd mentoring using AI initiative that was developed by Telangana in partnership with this Aviros named startup. Okay, so there is nothing much. You don't need to go into the details of this because it is not going to be asked from you in your examination. So you need to strict, uh, restrict yourself and stick to the syllabus and the, uh, and the precise portion only. The next thing is that this award was given at the Experience AI Summit that was organized by NASCOM. And the theme of that summit was AI as a catalyst for a better normal. So that was all about this question and these were the dates. You don't need to remember the dates at all. The next question is who has been appointed as a chairperson of the National Commission for Women? So the chairperson is Rekha Sharma. Can you guys tell me who is the present chairperson of Fikki Ladies Organization? This question also we have discussed and right now I am asking you this question. Who is the current president of Fikki Ladies Organization? Tell me that in the comment section below. And here this session ends. I hope that you have enjoyed the session. Thank you guys so much for watching this session.